This is the very first jointed swim bait I've ever attempted. And uh, as you can see, it's not finished. So I think it's high time we get this thing uh, ready for the water. Now, uh, well, I, when I made it, there was a bit of an incident with a certain small dog. And he decided he's gonna take a bite here and there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this, get it finished, make it look, I don't know. I don't know if I should say better, but uh, at least functional. So let's get right into this one. Let's start this off by go ahead and taking the head of this paddlefish. Oh, it's a paddlefish by the way. And um, repair what's on this first segment here. So the chunk taken off here, which I think we should, uh, instead of finishing it, making it look nice, I'm thinking we should make it look like a, some sort of, I don't know, some sort of wound on this thing. Make it kind of red and festering. And then um, the bill also. But let's fix this bill here. Go ahead. Uh, let's mark it off where I'm gonna cut it. Should probably grab a ruler. And we'll go ahead and just make a, a rough mark on this here just so we can get a flat edge. This may not be the marking device we need to use here. It's not showing up. Uh, that'll do. Maybe not the straightest thing, but it'll work. And uh, let's go ahead and cut this off. Went ahead and marked it on the other side, and uh, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to give me this, but um, it'll work. It'll work. Go ahead and very carefully cut this tiny piece with this saw that's definitely not the right tool for the job. This isn't going to work. You know what? We'll be right back. I probably shouldn't have hand tools, but I definitely shouldn't have power tools. Uh, let's give this a shot. Oh yeah, that's better. Alright. When in doubt, use the wrong power tool. We'll go ahead and uh, get this measured up. I think I could very easily um, just put a new piece of wood on the end of that, but that'd be way too easy. Let's go ahead and 3D print a little prosthetic bill for this guy. Now that we have this paddlefish uh, trimmed up a little bit on that bill, um, we're going to go ahead and take some measurements so we can make that prosth prosthetic bill and hopefully it will uh, work out okay. So at first I think we should probably just sketch out um, what's what we're going to do here. So it's going to trace around that mouth there. And uh, that's good enough. Go ahead and extend this out uh, about there. Get that rounded off. That's probably pretty good. All right. Take some measurements of this too, so we can go ahead and put it in the CAD. And that bill is actually used for a couple of things. Um, primarily, it's believed to be used for sensing their, so they eat plankton with their mouth here. They're gonna open it up. So normally this is actually shut and at the bottom of the bill, but then it opens up, gills are right here, and they uh, suck in plankton similar to kind of how a whale would do it. And you're gonna have the bill, which would extend out, and they use that to kind of paddle back and forth through the water. It's thought that they use that to detect the plankton. Um, I don't know if there's a whole lot of good research behind it. But these fish are also found in uh, freshwater rivers, like the Mississippi. Um, supposedly they were found in all the Great Lakes at one point. Although I don't know if there's a whole lot of good evidence for that. 
I know they're also found in the Missouri River as well, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, you can catch them. Uh, I know it's a lot of snag fishing uh, with treble hooks and such under spillways. Not my favorite form of fishing, but I suppose. Okay, now that we have those measurements, go ahead and get it in the CAD and uh, we'll try and design something up. Now that that little prosthetic is off the printer, uh, we can go ahead and see how that fits. I did add, might be kind of hard to see here, some breakaway reliefs just so it fits on there because I know this is not a uniform shape here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just test fit that. And it looks like with some epoxy, it'll work pretty good. So go ahead and take that off for now and set that aside. Um, before we get that epoxied up, so I'm gonna need to put some epoxy over the paint. We're gonna go ahead and paint uh, a wound on this guy here to make it look just a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know. Just kind of making this up as I go. Go ahead and just get a little tad bit of paint here and see what we can do with it. So we're going to try and just get this, make a little wound. I know I should probably wash out my paintbrush, but I'm not going to. Now we can just say this wound is a result of somebody snag fishing paddlefish. Be realistic, right? I think that looks okay. Better than the last paint job. I'm going to let that dry up and we'll get some epoxy in. We'll get this uh, prosthetic put on. This is some Gorilla Glue 5 minute epoxy. We'll see if this stuff works. It should. I just hope it's not too gross. Probably need to replace my epoxy sooner than later. Why did I choose this tiny wire to mix this up with? That was just a dumb idea. I'm sure I have better things to mix this with. Like, literally anything would be better than this. Go ahead and coat the inside of this prosthetic with this uh, epoxy. No such thing as too much, right? Go ahead and... Oh, that's beautiful. I feel like I need to clamp this down. Let me, let me find a clamp. You know what's better than a clamp? A chip clip. Oh yeah, beautiful. All right, now let's get this uh, wound channel.
epoxied in here just to make it look a little bit, seal that bait up. Somebody needs to let me know if these cameras, camera angles are absolutely terrible. I'm trying something new this video. Getting a proper camera would probably be the way to go, but maybe if you uh, like and subscribe, I can, I can get that done. All right, good enough. I think what's left is to let this dry and uh, work on our bait hangers, and I think we'll be done. All right, now that everything is set, we can go ahead and try and glue this up here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a mess, but we'll see what we can do. So that prosthetic is mostly on there. I went ahead and put an, an eye. Um, of course, that split the printed part here. Oh, the super glue is clogged up. Let me, uh, let's just fix that real quick. I think that'll do it. Go ahead and add tons of glue on that. My hands are super shaky. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and add our bait hangers here, or our joints, I should say. Hopefully this works. Tweezers would help. Go ahead and do the same for the back side here. Good enough. Finally. This project has been uh, a long time coming. And you know what? I think that uh, it's good. Good enough. Mint. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and send it. Hopefully that shows up all right. Let's see if I can lift it up here. Probably shouldn't be playing around with it much. The glue's not even dry, but hey. For something that's been sitting around project I've been trying to finish forever. Super, super ugly. Definitely not, uh, this is definitely not good. Um, but if it was good, I'd be a professional and I would do this full time. And, um, I don't even have any following on YouTube as of yet. So, hey, 
you like this, go ahead and give it a like or a subscribe. Um, or if you don't like it, why don't you go ahead and do the same thing just to spite me? Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, hopefully there's more on the way.